Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a used Dutchman Sport Hybrid. So this is a model 19T, this is a 2003 model. Um, so we just got this RV as a trade-in and basically we're going to sell it as is. We're not going to check anything out. Uh, so we're going to let whoever gets this RV get it for a good price. So, but I'll show you around it. It does have a couple condition issues, but overall it is actually a very clean, very solid trailer. Uh, could make a great camper for someone. So, um, first of all, I'll point out the front, the bunks. Both bunks are um, really in great shape. So the vinyl uh, all looks great. It's maybe just dirty. That's it. And then underneath, I don't know if the camera can see it, but all the hookups and all the connections to, to secure it when you're camping look good. They all work good. So, okay, so I'm sure you see this on camera. It's got like tape and some caulk. Uh, so obviously the previous owner had a leak there and, and uh, they um, sealed it up kind of haphazardly. I looked inside though, I really don't see any signs of rot or damage inside, and I think this could be caulked up. Uh, so other than really this spot, this whole trailer looks solid. So let's take a, uh, let's walk around a little more. Oh yeah, the awning too is the other probably major issue. It's just that it looks like the fabric's torn. They're like layers of fabric, so it might not, when you roll it out, it might not be a big open hole and you could tape it up. Otherwise, fabric probably runs like three, four hundred bucks and you can install it on the framework. All right, so uh, tr tires too are older. They look, I mean, they don't look all dry rotted or worn out, but they're uh, some of them, they're mismatched and, and, and they're definitely older tires. Okay, this bunk end looks good. Doesn't look, um, no tears. You know, and, and uh, if anything, it's just a little dirty, but it's not all rotted out or anything like that. And then um, tires on this side look good also. They're matched up. The holding tanks look good. Uh, this is the 110 volt hookup and uh, furnace. There's a cable hookup here. This is storage. Um, you know what? I don't have my key, but it goes under the sofa. So there's storage under the, uh, or the front dinette bench, actually. Uh, the other thing, too, is, you know, the whole thing on every side, except for that right front corner, looks, looks solid. Doesn't, I'm sure there are some dents and dings I'm not seeing, but looks like you really could clean this thing up and it would look good. Especially if I own this, I would probably, the only thing I'd do with this is just clean everything up and re it, and then go hit the campground and have some fun. All right, let's take a look inside. All right, the first thing is this back bunk. Uh, number one, the, like I said before, the vinyl's all in good shape, the windows all work. And, uh, you know, under the mattress, this stuff's all solid. These bunk ends are all completely solid. And I've had a lot of these older hybrids where they're all rotted out, but like, yeah, this thing's good to go. So, probably a clean bed. And let's look in here real quick. So toilet, you know, bathroom, sink, built-in medicine cabinet. Uh, I'm 5'11", so I fit in here good. So it's got a nice tub surround, and a lot of times older trailers will have all kinds of leakage issues in the shower above the skylight. This thing looks real solid up there. Now another thing I want to point out is this portion of the ceiling. This is solid. This is not from leakage. That is the wallpaper just scrunching back. So. The whole roof on this thing seems solid. Anyway, you got a nice uh, microwave, range top, oven, double sink, good storage, sofa and dinette. Uh, these both make down to beds. And then um, there's like a, a tape player here, I think. It has an auxiliary in. Oh, it probably is a CD player. 2003, yeah. So anyway, uh, here's queen bed up front. Same deal with the front bunk end. It's all in good shape. It's all real solid under the mattress. 
and um, I did notice a spot of mildew right here that could be cleaned up. It's like just a couple little spots. So, um, so I'm Steve. I'm with I-94 RV, and this is a 2003 Dutchman hybrid that we're going to sell as is. So uh, I-94 RV is located in the northeast corner of Illinois, and you could reach us at i94rv.com, or you can call me direct at 847-302-8169. Thanks for watching.